Last of the races I'm bringing you this week, over the jumps. Week two coming to a close for me in the commentary box. It's a two mile, two furlong Stu Grace selling hurdle for horses rated zero to 100. And it's Ring a Ring of Roses, your favourite for Martin Leadham. 11 to 4 on that one. Fahana Landes, James Shea. Sire Shan Value, Ryan Costello. Estelina Cabs, James Shea. Hebra Wars for Ryan Costello. And Solly Made Fiction for Thomas Rogers completes your lineup. And the starter lets them go. The tapes are up. And fascinating selling hurdle here. A few trainers, a couple of trainers have chucked two in here in the hope of landing this selling hurdle. But Ring a Ring of Roses. I commentated on this one last week and it tried to do the same, a front-running effort, but then faded out relatively tamely and I think it finished seventh in, in week one. Let's see if it can go any better for my fellow commentator, Martin Leadham, today. So we've got two miles left to go and they've gone the first two furlongs so, so far and you can see them coming past the stands and the big screen. Lots of race goers chasing them on as if it is the winning post already. And a few of them looking down the track as if there's still some horses coming in that direction, of which I can assure them that was all of them that had already passed the post. But anyway, back to the action. Ring a ring of roses in the lead in those purple and white striped silks for Martin Leadham, the black cap. And you can already see there's a gap of a good six, seven lengths back to the dark green silks of James Shea, his, one of his two runners there, Farhana Landes. Oh, and we've lost one there. Ryan Costello's lost one of his runners, Sire Shan Value, and seated the rider. Just chucked that one out the back door after a poor jump. And that means that Hebra Wars is the only one left in representing Ryan Costello. And uh, as I was saying, James Shea's two runners in the dark green silks, they're just running alongside each other there, Estelina Cabs and... Fahana Lande is just split by that Ryan Costello runner Hebra Wars and running widest of all as they turn right handed there and trying not to be pushed out too wide is Solly Made Fiction. So back to the head of the field as we come to ten and a half furlongs out and we come towards the sixth flight of hurdles. It's still ring a ring of roses in the lead, just steadying itself before it comes to that next flight. And there's still a good few lengths back to Fahana Landes as they start going uphill. My mistake there is actually quite a bit of a run and a big steep uphill climb before they come to that next flight of hurdles. So there's quite a lot of flat galloping going on here and Ring a Ring of Roses set a pretty decent pace there up front as they now go back on the level and then quickly start their descent coming downhill at this undulating track. And Ring a Ring of Roses got in a little bit close there, didn't get over it too high or too quick and that allowed Fahana Landes and Hebra Wars to just close up slightly into a share of second position as they come over the next. Ring a Ring of Roses not too quick again, he's getting over them and not clipping the top of them but isn't exactly jumping them quickly and that allowed Fahana Landes and Hebra Wars to move up into much closer contention. A gap of a few lengths back so you can see Estelina Cabs and Solly Made Fiction currently the back marker and you can still see the loose horse of Sire Shan Value continuing to chase along these runners and riders as we come towards five and a half furlongs and we start swinging right handed here. It's Ring a Ring of Roses that still has the lead and has had the lead since the tapes went up to Fashana Land Fahana Landes and Hebra Wars just being pushed along now trying to maintain its position getting a touch out pace there four furlongs out and Ring a Ring of Roses was back on the bridle there for a moment but the jockey just wants to get to work again and start putting these under a bit of pressure but he's certainly not stringing them out as you can see they're all starting to creep much closer Solly Made Fiction has passed three runners to move into second place outright but Ring a Ring of Roses is still maintaining a bit of a gap there and still has a lead of around a length but Solly Made Fiction is starting to make some progress Ring a Ring of Roses took off a bit too early and that allowed Solly Made Fiction to move past it on the outside as they quickly approach the next flight good jump from the front horse Solly Made Fiction and Ring a Ring of Roses is going to have to really fight hard to get back into this race Hebra Wars and Estelina Cabs is trying to make ground and eat into this lead but as we come into the final furlong Solly Made Fiction is going to take some catch in here look over the right shoulder the jockey can ease it down nothing's really making any inroads Estelina Cabs staying on into second but it's an easy win there for Solly Made Fiction Estelina Cabs in second Oop, the loose horse just passing the win. Finishing post there still seems full of zest, that one. But as we come to the line, you can see there in the replay, it was Ring a Ring of Roses that managed to hold on for third for Martin Leadham, but a really comfortable victory for Solly Made Fiction. Wins the Stu Gray selling hurdle at 10-3, Burlington Birdie. And in second place, 
Estelina Cabs for James Shea, Ringa Ringa Roses third, Hebra Wars fourth, and Fahana Lande is fifth for James Shea, but Thomas Rogers takes it with Solly Made Fiction.